besties, it's your girl Earth Angel. Naturally, all up on your screen here with our very first Wild Thoughts Wednesday. Yes! And I know we're all up on the same already. Today, the Wednesday, my girl. Today, the Thursday, go check your calendar. Someone mix up something wrong, something not going right there. So, I know what day it is, but yesterday, we kind of have a little glitch. So, I couldn't post the video yesterday. But, posting the video today. I'm moving forward. Wild Thoughts will be posted on a Wednesday. If you are just seeing my beautiful, fresh face, then you need to click that subscribe button so that you can join our family and become an official bestie. We would love to have you. So go ahead, just click that button right now. Good. All right. So in honor of our very first Wild Thoughts Wednesday, we are going to be having a little small sex talk. Now, if you know me personally outside of YouTube or whatever, then this might make you feel a bit uncomfortable listening to, but I'm sorry this is a topic that I feel that we need to talk about. Because if you're like me and you grew up in Jamaica or you grew up in any one of the Caribbean islands, then you probably have the same problematic experience with the whole idea of talking about sex. Now, if you were not aware, in the Caribbean or in Jamaica, I don't want to generalize it because I don't really know what it's in a Trinidad or Barbados. I don't know what my Bajan's experience is like. I don't know what my Trinidad's experience is like or anybody else. But in Jamaica, sex is not something that we readily talk about. And as a female, discussion of sex is just not heard of. Like, you don't talk about sex for fun as a woman in Jamaica. Like, there's this big, woo, wait, no crime scene, yellow tape, stop. What did she just say? We don't do, you're not like supposed to do that. Like, culture don't permit that. So the man them is kind of like different because they openly discuss intimacy and openly discuss sex, but it's not in the context of love making or romance or anything that is done out of love. It is done out of a kind of Spartan game of truth, I must conquer. All of that is like, it's just, you know, and you come, you find words like daggering and thump it up and stab it up and all sorts of things somewhere. Yeah, and if you really think about it, it's sad because I'm not the only person that shared this sentiment because I remember I was watching, I don't remember if it was alive or if it was like one of the videos that, I remember, but me that watch a video and that's very that said the same thing. When you're gonna say in a Jamaica, it's like the culture is everybody's supposed to live one way and experience things the same way. And if you for come up with a new way of experiencing something, i.e. sex, they are intimacy, then it's a big deal and everybody must stop and look because the world is about to end. So, you know, we want to just talk about all of those stereotypes and stigmas and kind of just break them down for once, for finally. And just openly talk about something where everybody share an interest in her. So, enough talking. Me could us get in her, the video. So here are four reasons why I think sex should be or is important to your relationship and by extension, your life. Alright, so first thing first. Intimacy share between two people, especially a companion, is something that brings you two closer together. I mean, I mean, think about it. You may have a hard day at work or wherever you know, and you come home, and the first thing that on your mind is to turn on TV or to turn on your computer or look on your phone. It, it is far more relaxing and far more comforting when you share that level of intimacy where you're comfortable for being with each other. And then that bring you closer together. So when you find things like domestic abuse, even though some of those things kind of touch you, I'm not really want to go too deep into that. But when you find that people find it difficult to actually be real with each other, if you think about it, they're not sharing enough time physically together or even not sharing enough quality time where they share a little of intimacy where only the two of them experience that. And without that, then you won't get the opportunity to really develop a bond that only the two of them to share. And then all sorts of different things can come in your relationship and mess it up. So even if you're not an emotional type of person or if you're not somebody that like the whole cuddly, lovey-dovey, quality time thing, it's important for you to actually try to make a part of your life because it does help in terms of mental health, emotional health, and we know that we don't want to 
don't want to die. We don't want to die. So we, I mean, whatever we can do to make ourselves emotionally healthy is important. I don't want to run up on Lunga Gym and try to get summer body, winter body, Instagram body, all kind of body we want to buy and build. But the most important side of us is our emotional sanity. And without that being healthy, then nothing else no matter. So that's our kind of body. And the topic of talking about um, emotional health. Sharing intimacy or, you know, being conscious of the value of sex in your, rela- in your relationship or your life, it actually distresses you. Like, I don't know. People openly talk about the fact that your man, if you stress out, then Ray and you will Ray and Jamaican man always thinks that they can fix one problem by giving them a one touch. But without all of that mix up and dance all behind it, it's really something that can dis- distress you in terms of not making you so uptight and paranoid about every little thing. If you, I mean, I'm not a scientist, I ain't no biologist, I'm no doctor, but I'm sure that there's some scientific explanation of physically releasing tension from out of your body. So, you know, even that, on top of that, if you really think about it, then it really comes together and make full circle why in terms of emotional health is, 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 is important. And then on the other side of that, hold on, wait, I realize all this time I'm not counting. So I'm gonna really know which reason it is, I'm sorry. Um this sound like three. <laughs> but you know, my team are kinda the number three, you know? In layman's term, if you don't want to have a free time to do anything, then you need to occupy the time where you would have free. Basically. Like that's the simplest we can put it to deal with it. And circling down to number four is it's a natural thing. It's natural, guys. You can't get around it. It needed the way move on. God created the world and then he made Adam. Then it, uh, if you did, I'm, I'm quoting the Bible, so just so that everybody knows <laughs> where I'm going with this. According to the Bible, the creation of the world, God created the world, and He created Adam, and He created Eve, then Adam and Eve, you know, and then Cain and Abel. So basically, sex in its natural form was not something that was created in the 20th century and 19th century. So in there, before literally everybody who's alive right now was even born. So considering that it's a natural thing, I don't think we need to really make such a big and I hope that this video can allow you to feel more comfortable in discussing, you know, I mean, the fact that sex should not be such a controversial topic and such a taboo topic to discuss in Jamaica. As a matter of fact, I know that a lot of people will watch this and be like, oh my God, she's literally talking about sex. Yes, I am. I mean, if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be here. So, you know, guys, just keep it coming. This is what we do here. This is what Wild Thoughts Wednesday is about. It's about just talking about things that are wild, things that are real, and just getting down into the nitty gritty of a lot of things that a lot of people are scared to talk about. If you're afraid to talk about it with your friends, don't worry, I will say it for you. If you like what we discussed today, Bessie, then hit that like button. If you have something to say about, you know, what are your views on the importance of sex, do you think it's important, do you think I'm making too much of a big deal out of this, share in the comment section below, I would love to talk to you guys about this even more, I couldn't say everything in this video, so now's the time to get the conversation going, right, if you are new here, please, please do not miss out on being a part of our bestie family, we would love to have you, the more we, we are stronger in numbers guys, so share with your friends. Don't steal information and keep it to yourself. But also, no phone will go watch that video here and then lock it away. I'm pretend like you don't want make no matter know what sex valuable. Make sure know we all need this information. We all need to know about it. So share this video with your friends, guys. Carry to your uncle, your mother, your brother, your sister, your cousin, everybody, your neighbor, the phone man on the road, carry up a mask, Joe. Make him subscribe. So click that subscribe button. Remember to follow me on Instagram, guys, and Facebook. Links are always in the description bar below. Until next time, guys. Bye.